I work in the recently created research team AIN, devoted to spatial temporal modeling for analysis of high resolution images, in particular for remote sensing. The latest and upcoming generation of imaging sensors acquire big volumes of heterogeneous data with very high spatial, spectral, and temporal resolution. This data provide a rich source of information which is very useful in a range of applications such as urban monitoring or precision agriculture. Our team works on the development of probabilistic and graph-based approaches for extracting useful information from these data for a variety of applications such as uh, change detection or object extraction. For example, one of my current research projects concerns development of a model for uh, tracking of uh, ice flows in the Arctic over time. About 30 years ago, after the success of the first American satellite programs of the Earth observations, uh, the first European satellites have been launched, such as Metosat in 1977 and Spot in 1986. Since that time, hundreds of satellites have been sent into space, thus providing a detailed cover of our planet. Not only the number of satellites increases over the years, but also the quality of the data they acquire. Spatial, spectral and temporal resolutions are improved with each new generation of satellite sensors. This provokes new challenges for analysis of remote sensing data. There is a need for new mathematical tools to process these data in high dimensional space, and there is a need uh, to develop high-speed algorithms for operational processing of this data. I plan to continue developing spectrospatial temporal models for automated analysis and classification of remote sensing data. Scientific problems in this field are very interesting because each new generation of sensors has its unique characteristics that must be taken into account. The information extracted from space data can be very varied and also there is need to fuse data from different sensors. My ambition in the future is to develop efficient algorithms for processing in real time high volumes of data. In fact, both amount and uh, quality of remote sensing data increases steadily over the years. Thus, scientific challenges of tomorrow will be very different from the first remote sensing problems appeared 30 years ago.